Welcome to another edition of In the Spotlight with the Magic. I'm Jimmy Lilladall, play-by-play voice of the Magic. Today, today I'm alongside veteran Tanner Tweeten. Uh, Tanner, a big sweep for you guys over the weekend. You picked off a really good club, the Springfield Junior Blues. Yeah, um, come off break there, uh, we went to Springfield. Um, we didn't quite play as good as we wanted to, but we bounced right back on Friday, Saturday night, and uh, got a couple wins, so that was good. Saturday night you played really well. You started the scoring, a quick uh, quick shot right off the faceoff. You had five shots. We saw you playing physical. Um, what was it like on Saturday to get the 5-2 win? There was a good amount of people here too. Yeah, um, like I said, we bounced back. We knew we had to uh, get the two points and um, yeah, off that draw, Hammer made a nice draw back and got the shot off quick, which you know you always want. It's not about how hard you shoot it, you know, it's about how quick you get it off, and I got one past the goalie, so it helped getting the first one, and we kind of rolled from there. Talk about your style of play. We've seen you score goals, we've seen you issue the puck, we've seen you get physical. Um, from your perspective, what, what type of style do you like to play? Uh, I like playing below the goal line, you know. I'm a big, strong kid. I try to get the puck out front to the kids that are more skill guys and mm -hmm. go from there. Absolutely. Talk about your hometown. Where'd you grow up? I uh, grew up in East Grand Forks, Minnesota. Small town, about 8,000 people. Uh, it's a great town. Uh, everything's hockey there. It's hockey, hockey, hockey. And I think we all just want to grow up and play hockey in East Grand Forks. And we just have a great community. Absolutely. Um, I had the privilege of seeing you well before you came here on the state tournament. Obviously everybody watches that in Minnesota. Saw you play there three times. What does the big stage do for a player like you? Uh, well, you know, there's a lot of people there. So, I mean, if you play well, you get looks. And, you know, it's just always fun to grow up in Minnesota and play in the state tournament. You know, it's every kid's dream. So, I got lucky enough. I got to play in three state tournaments. So it was great. Before we go here, a couple of, or just one game this this Friday against Austin. After that, it's two games against the Janesville Jets. They're in first place, top shelf opponent. Um, what are some of the things you guys are working on as we move forward into that really big series against Janesville? Um, well, we're looking at getting more shots than that. We've been struggling a little bit. You know, everyone's wanting to make that one extra play. and. I think we're really focusing on getting being a shot first mentality and just getting pucks to the net. We know Jansville is a really good opponent. They like playing D, and I think we just got to get pucks to the net and go to the net. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks. Jim. Welcome back to In the Spotlight with the Magicians. The Magic playing two games over the weekend against the Springfield Junior Blues. A rare occasion, Saturday and Sunday games. On Saturday, it was a huge 5-2 win for the Magicians. My guest, Tanner Tweeten, uh, scored the goal. He had a sixth goal of the season. He started the scoring. Will Hammer had an assist. The Magicians rolling in the first period. Then it was Andrew Kangas. You can see him getting this goal behind the net, working real hard on that fourth line. Davis Kirkendall and the young Tommy Altunian get assists. Then it's Caleb Height as he scores his seventh of the season. Travis Brown and John Siebenhaller set up Caleb Height. That was actually the number two play of the week this past week in the North American Hockey League as Caleb Height netted his seventh. Then Springfield adds one. It was 3-1 after the first frame. It was a Max Nylander goal. Matt Cassidy and Fabio Hollenstein had the assist. It went to the second period. The Magicians make it 4-1. Another Caleb Height goal. John Siebenhaller and Nikita Kozirev had the assist. The Magicians add another, making it 5-1. This time it was John Siebenhaller. You can see him score on the breakaway. Caleb Height and Travis Brown set uh, Siebenhaller up on the breakaway. It went to the third period, and then it was Matt Cassidy for the Springfield Junior Blues. It was the Blues' second goal of the game, and Matt Long and Max Nylander had the assist, and it was a 5-2 finish for the Magicians on Saturday. Caleb Height was the first star. John Siebenhaller was the second star, and Andrew Kangas was the third star as the Magicians beat the Blues 5-2 on Saturday night. 
Sunday night, there was no scoring in the first period, back and forth action. In the second period, 54 seconds in, Jake Cass scores. Travis Brown and Mitch Slattery had the assist. It was Cass's fourth goal of the season. The Magicians led 1-0 after two frames of action. In the third period, Timo Walter gets his eighth goal of the season. Matt Denman and Hunter Lelle get the assist. The Magicians add one more in the third period. This was an empty netter coming at the 19-minute mark. Mitch Slattery sets up Will Hammer. Hammer gets his 12th goal of the season. He now leads the team in goals. He's actually tied with Mitch Slattery with 12 goals on the season. Three stars of the game, Jake Acton, who made his Magician's home debut. Nets a shutout for the Magicians. Jake Cass gets the second star, and Timo Walter gets the third star as the Magicians beat the Blues 3-0 on Sunday night and sweep the Springfield Junior Blues. Welcome back to In the Spotlight with the Magic. Uh, the Magicians play a game on the 13th, that's this Friday against the Austin Bruins. It's the only game uh, this Friday. If you can't make it to Richfield Ice Arena, you can check out the broadcast on HockeyTV.com. Com. Also, it is tropical night. Don't forget, if you want to bring your Hawaiian shirt, you can do that as well. The first couple hundred fans will get Hawaiian lays as well to keep the tropical theme going. Luki Laub is our alumni of the week. Laub playing professional hockey in Germany in the Dell 2 for Lowen Frankfurt as Luki has had some success this season and is eyeing a call up to the Deutsche Ice Hockey Liga, which is the top level in Germany. That's going to do it for another edition of In the Spotlight. So long, everybody.